Looking for a new NVMe SSD? This could be the drive you're looking for, or maybe not. On the front of the box, you've got the name Lexar. You've got the model number NM760. It's a M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 4x4 NVMe SSD, which means if you haven't got a Gen 4x4 socket on your motherboard, it will run at slower speeds. And it says it will run up to 5,300 megabytes per second. And obviously it's an NVMe. And the one we're looking at is the one terabyte version. Other versions are available. On the back of the box, well, it's pretty pointless, to be honest with you. The writing is that small. No one's ever going to read it, apart from the five-year warranty at the bottom and the information we've already read on the top. Okay, so inside the box, you've got the plastic packaging, what the drive itself came in. I'd like to see a way where they got away with that plastic, to be honest with you, save the environment and everything. You've got a screw inside a plastic bag as well. That's to allow you to screw the SSD onto the motherboard. You've got a manual, which, in all honesty... Why they don't just have a QR code on the box what you scan to get the manual up, it would save, obviously, the environment, saves them money as well because they don't have to produce it, and also saves weight in the packaging, and so, obviously, that becomes cheaper to ship. Okay, let's have a close look at this SSD and go through some of the specifications. So, it's a NVMe Gen 4x4. The performance is 5,300 megabytes per second on the read. The write speed is 4,500 megabytes per second on the right. Obviously, to get those speeds, you need a socket on your motherboard, which is an NVMe 1.4 with, obviously, the room to fit it, which it's a form factor of 2,280 or 2,280, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, so this is going to be roughly about 10 times faster than a standard 2.5-inch SSD, obviously, if you've got the connection on your board. Apparently, it's got a 12 nanometer controller for lower power consumption. So, lower power consumption should mean reduced heat as well. It's also got a built in heat sink, or should I say optional heat sink, which can be removed. You've got a wide range of compatibility, works on PS5, notebooks, PCs, all the usual store, store shop resistance, and so forth. And you've got a five year warranty as well. So, let's have a closer look at the drive itself. Hopefully, you can see it there. So, this bit, the sticker here, is actually the heat sink, so it's like a, a small heat sink, which will peel off if you wanted it to, if you just wanted the bare SSD itself. So it gives you a rough idea. You've got your standard connections on the end there, and obviously where it screws in. The reverse side's just got model numbers, barcodes, and stuff like that. Nothing too fancy to look at or see, in all honesty. But obviously, you're not going to see that because that's going to be face down to the board. This is a bit you're going to see. Uh, unless you've got a motherboard, obviously, which has got its own heat sink or what goes over the top of it. So bundled in software. So this is software you can actually download from Lexar's website. Uh, you've got three programs. You've got Lexar Data Shield, so it'll let you actually protect files. So like a password protector and stuff like that. So pretty straightforward. Um, you've also got the Lexar Recovery Tool, which I think would probably be used more for stuff like... Uh, uh, SD cards and stuff like that, but it allows you to select which drive you want to recover and to save the items to in search. So you've also got option format there. But the main tool, what you'd probably use is the Lexar SSD dash. That's if you were to use any. It tells you basically the capacity, how much you use, the firmware, it tells you temperatures, the health of it as well, use space and all the stuff like that. And it tells you what uh, interface it's supported. Uh, you've also got smart on there, so it'll give you reports if there's any issues and problems. You can also do secure raise, so it securely erases the dr drive. Let's just say you wanted to sell it or something along that lines, or reuse it in a different machine, and you didn't want people getting access to the data, then there you can do it. You've got secure raise, you've got an enhanced one as well. Press start, it'll give you the time, pretty straightforward. And you've also got the data migration um, tool as well, which is pretty good. So if you've got another drive, so for example, the machine we're using it in at the moment, this has got a Seagate Fire, uh, Fire CUDA. So if you wanted all the information copying off that Seagate Fire CUDA drive directly onto the Lexdar drive, it's as simple as selecting the drive you're going from, the drive you're going to, and then press start. It's as simple as that. It's pretty straightforward and easy. And then you, all you need to do is reboot the machine, 
tell it to boot off the Lexar drive instead, or you could potentially remove the Seagate drive from the machine and make the Lexar the only drive in there, and it'll boot from there, and you shouldn't have any issues. And then obviously you've got the About Us page. Otherwise, let's go on to testing. Down to testing. So testing was done in a Fred Ripper machine. It's 24 core, 48 uh, Fred and so forth. All the lanes are PCIe Gen 4, which basically means it's capable of running at a faster speed. The main drive in the machine, the C drive, uh, is a Lexar NM800, which is a lot faster than this one. It's their pro range, so we shouldn't have any bottlenecks in testing. The Lexar drive we're testing today has been set up as a slave drive, which means that there is nothing on the drive. Uh, so it's basically set up like it would be if it came out of the box with the exception of being formatted. Right, okay, so first test we did was using Atto. Atto scores to be honest with you can be a little bit lower than when we're testing with crystal dismart but get the average of the two bit of pinch of salt and so forth and you'll you'll get the rough sort of speed you're looking at but the read speeds using atto we're getting close to five gigabits per second which is five thousand megabytes per second and on the right it's a little bit slower it roughly around about three and a half thousand megabytes per second but when we do the test with crystal dismark completely different we're getting 5300 megabytes per second on the read and on the right 4200 so there is a bit of a difference between the results on the two so as i said take with a pinch of salt while we've done those tests we can see here the controller got up to nearly 60 degrees celsius the rest of the memory got up to around about 41 but saying that this is being tested in a well ventilated case if you're in a case where it's uh, not got a lot of ventilation or you've got the ssd hiding underneath a graphics card and it can't get any airflow to it and these temperatures do get up to 80 85 or above you will find that the drive could potentially slow down Right, saying that, we're going to do a basic standard copy-paste, so from our C drive onto the D drive, which is this Lexar drive we're testing today. We're going to copy this folder called Arctic. This has got a couple of videos in, well, I say more than a couple of videos, it's basically two editing jobs we've done for two different products, which has got 4K video, HD video, it's got text, it's got pictures, it's got audio, so it's got everything in there, you'll need even a few PDFs, 73 files all together, total of 18.4 gigabytes. We're just going to see what the read-write speed is copying over in a real-life situation. Bear in mind, you'll never get these max and read and write speeds you see on here, um, because uh, different file sizes will obviously copy at different speeds. So if I just paste that over to there now, it's going to pop up on the screen. You can see here it's copying pretty quick. It's copying around about one, uh, 1,500 megabytes a second, roughly. So it gives you a rough idea. So that's copying, so that's writing onto that uh, Lexar ssd so what we're going to do is copy from it so that's going to be the read so first of all we're going to rename this file so we'll call it arctic 2 uh, and then we'll just drag that folder onto our desktop uh, different location oh here we go and it's copying over and again the read speed you can see is slightly faster probably 1650 1700 uh, megabytes per second in real life situation that is roughly the sort of speed we'll be expecting to see of a drive of this speed if you're not sure how this compares to a traditional hard drive just to give you a rough idea most hard drives these days read at roughly 100 to 150 megabytes per second and this is can go all the way up to 5300 just to give you a rough idea if you're using a traditional ssd the two and a half inch ones they go up to around about 550. So as you can see here, it's working up to 10 times quicker than a traditional SSD, and God knows how many times faster than a normal hard drive. So what do I think of this drive? Well, it does everything it says on a 10. It's, um, it plugs in, it works, it's really fast. It's got that Lexar reliability. They do have a few bits of software on their website, which you can have a look at if you wish. So you can do a few different bits and bobs. Um, so you've got everything you need for SSD. And if you can pick it up for a decent price, then hell yeah, go for it. If you would like to see more reviews we've done in the past regarding Lexar products, click this box right up here. Otherwise, if you want to see more reviews of SSDs, then click this box just down here. Yeah, that one there. Otherwise, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, like, you know the drill. Otherwise, we will see you next time.